What is Illumin? You don't have to be a Gold World user to actually know about Illumin because Illumin was and is one of a kind. It's been around for a while now, but it is, for me, it's like the most, the ultimate creative tool in hair coloring. It's my muse. Illumin is, when I dream of hair color, that's what the bubble that hair color stands in. Illumin is the most creative tool in a hairdresser's life. And that's my opinion. Now, you can have different opinions and I totally agree with you, but I wanna talk about a lumen because it's not just a hair color it's almost like magic it's just the way a lumen makes the hair feel and look it's not comparable to anything else what makes a lumen so special first of all it does not oxidize so you don't have to mix it with anything it's not lifting it's depositing but also it is the most permanent hair color we have to this day i don't think that any other hair color is as durable as a lumen considering you apply it properly and you follow the rules. It's very simple. If you work with a lumen, you can't really get creative with the technical uh, stuff. You can't just break the rules because a lumen is not going to work for you. You can be creative with formulation, you can be creative with color application, but not necessarily with the instructions. You need to follow the instructions in order to be successful with a lumen. So as a hair color that doesn't oxidize, but it is permanent, the most permanent, it's a little bit of kind of mystery there. How does it work? Well, Illumin works like no other color. It works on a physical process rather than a chemical process. So there's no coupling, there's no pigments coming together, oxidizing, there's no developer, there's no lifting. There's no outside agent that helps Illumin be Illumin. Illumin is already in the bottle. The magic of it is in the bottle. All you have to do is apply it on the hair and you just have to create the proper environment for that hair to accept and retain a lumen. And that is to create enough positive charges that a lumen can go and attach itself to it. Very simple, very basic knowledge. Hair that's healthy has equal positive and negative charges and that's what the hair is made of now by oxidizing process by bleaching coloring and stuff like that you create more negative charges now a lumen being negatively charged it will not attach itself to another negative charge it's just not going to happen so magnets don't work like that positive attracts negative and that's how the coupling works this is how a lumen durability is happening so because the hair is very unstable when it's wet, then a lumen in a wet environment will actually detach itself from the positive charge and it kind of floats around the hair and sometimes goes towards the outside of the hair underneath the cuticle and all you have, you know, you just kind of shake your hair or squeeze your hair and so sometimes the lumen comes out. The only stable environment for a lumen is actually dry hair and healthy hair. So it's highly acidic, it's 3.5 and maybe lower. It's around there, which is really, really good for the hairs. A lot of people are amazed by the quality of the hair that's left behind after an lumen process. A lumen is a mystery to a lot of hairdressers because hairdressers usually can't get their head around it. How does it work? What do you mean physical, not chemical? Mind you, a lot of people don't understand the chemical process properly, so it is really, really hard to get in that bubble of physical process, deposit only, direct pigment, pure pigment, shine, incredible shine, a stringent effect. It's all like, well, what do you mean? And so I really think that a lumen is worth talking about. It's worth working with because just the satisfaction that gives a hairdresser after a color process is just not, not comparable to anything else. And so, coffee first. Okay, now I'm ready. As per introduction, I was just giving you a little bit of insight of what a lumen is, what it means to me, how it works. Now, let's start from the beginning. A lumen is a low pH, 3.5, has an astringent effect on the hair. That means that it really tightens the hair fiber, the cuticle makes it nice and shiny and uh, evens out the porosity. You can say that it works like a treatment because it does make the hair feel like it's virgin again. No matter what and how the hair porosity is, no matter how damaged it is, a lumen is still going to get inside the hair. Funny thing is, considering it's an acidic color, there's no peroxide, no ammonia, nothing really, if you think about it, nothing to drive it to the cortex. A lumen travels inside the cortex and it becomes the most permanent color we have. And how is that possible? Because a lumen is made out of all this like magic potion and stuff and pigments and pure pigments, direct pigments. There are so 
small that you don't need to lift the cuticle in order for the color to penetrate into the cortex. They will slide inside the hair and it will be attracted by all the positive charges that you've created in the hair so a lumen can find a home. It's gonna be a problem to have deposits of the lumen if your hair is very damaged. By damage, I mean pre-lightened and highlighted and over-processed. And so by creating that, that kind of damage, you created also a lot of negative charges. So therefore, we said a lumen works in a magnetic attraction, in a physical process, not a chemical process. So therefore, you have to uh, create inside the hair the other side of the magnet, which has to be positive because a lumen molecule is charged negatively. So a negative charge in lumen, it will be attracted inside the hair like a magnet by positive charges. Now your job is to transform those negative charges into positive to create a safe environment for lumen and also best environment for lumen because if you don't have a positive charge, lumen will not find a home in your hair. This is where the rules start. There's no breaking away, there's no bending, there's no breaking the rules. So if you think creativity is breaking the rules, that does not apply with the woman. PAL, P, which means preparation, A, which means application, and L, which means lock. We've been following this for years and years since the woman was launched, and I'm telling you, out of my own experience, that you need to follow those steps, especially the first two. Illumin Prepare is that tool that it will help you in literally minutes to create more positive charges in the hair than negative, so the uptake and deposit of the lumen will be optimum. So you just spray and saturate the hair, you blow dry it because a lumen will be most comfortable in a dry hair environment, and I don't mean dry as damage, it's dry as not wet. Application has to be very thorough, you have to saturate. Each application of a lumen, it's going to take less and less uh, product, so therefore don't be scared if at the first time you need a lot. And the hair will tell you how much it needs because it shouldn't look dry. If it's dry looking and not shiny, that means you need more, so please don't be cheap, okay? Just apply a lumen, give the hair what it needs, and you're gonna be successful, your results are gonna be amazing. And don't work it in like you usually work oxidative uh, color. It's just like pat it and just make sure that you saturate the hair so it's heavy and wet looking. Process, you can process with actually uh, a heat source. You can process 30 minutes without heat or 20 minutes with heat. So that's gonna speed up the process always. And also, I think it's gonna swell the hair slightly. Therefore, the uptake of the lumen is gonna be a little bit deeper and maybe a little bit more. Um, you can cover the hair with a plastic bag, so just to keep it moist. In order for any color to work, really, if the hair becomes dry during the process, the color stops working. And that works for a lumen and goes for a lumen as well. So make sure the hair is moist, at all times and so um, you are going to have an optimum result. You can utilize it with a brush or with a bottle applicator. We have all kinds of tools for a lumen and you can uh, utilize it as a free form technique as well. And that's going to be so much easier if you're going to use also the lumen thickener. We have a specific thickener for a lumen and it's a look-alike bottle, like a lumen bottle, so you can get mixed up between the top shape thickener and a lumen thickener. So that's gonna change the consistency from like jelly, kind of messy sometimes, it gets messy if it's jelly and drops. Never had a problem with it because I didn't have a choice. Now I do. Now I can add the thickener to a lumen and I can, I can have it the consistency of top shake. So it's really easy to use for free form techniques. The colors don't bleed, highlights, low lights, and so on and so forth. So that's one way that you can get creative with a lumen. Now moving on to cleansing of a lumen, shampooing thoroughly, towel dry. And of course, if you're a lumen user and if you have 50% uh, of your color, if it's a lumen, we highly recommend to uh, utilize the lumen shampoo and the conditioner. We also have a uh, leave-in hair care and the whole system. So a lumen is a system on its own. Now we recommend to use the wash, which is the shampoo for a lumen color treated hair. So shampoo a couple of times just to really cleanse the hair because a lumen is so heavily pigmented and sometimes there's residue on top of the hair. If it's not shampooed properly, you just want to make sure that you cleanse all that pigment. So it's it's not that it does any damage to the hair, but nobody wants to see color going in the sink. Especially clients when they go home and when they shampoo their own hair the first time after you do a lumen, especially if the color is really, really bright, they don't want to see all that money spent 
going down the drain. To make a note on that, actually, the color will not really be visible out of the hair. Like you're not gonna see the fadage in the hair because the pigment weight is so, so heavy. But the point is they're gonna see it going down the drain. So that's a perception that we want to avoid. Therefore, please cleanse the hair properly. Towel dry very well if you're going to use lock. And lock is last step. L out of PAL, so P preparation, application, and L stands for lock. If you want the maximum durability for a lumen, if you want that lumen to be uh, there uh, for six months <laughs> with minimum fadage, you will need to lock the hair. Now, I honestly don't do it because, because I don't want that durability to be that long. I, I know the clients change their minds sometimes and I just want to make sure that I have an opportunity not to lock that illumin forever in the hair. I just want to have the opportunity to actually change it a little bit easier. I would lock if I have somebody who's 100% RR at all, which is a pure red or pure violet or pure pink, like really vibrant, vibrant color. I will lock it because I know that needs to stay like this for a long time. And of course, consultation. Make sure your clients don't like to change their colors every like season, going from red to blonde and back and forth. Now that's, that's not actually the best environment for a lumen. You don't want to use a lumen to lock it in and then try to take it out. So I don't usually use lock, but I shampoo properly and I consult with my clients and I always tell them I'm not gonna lock it because I want to have an opportunity down the road if it's necessary to change color in case you change your mind let's say after six months or so she's, she still wants to keep it and she still wants to have a lumen in her hair obviously i'm going to lock it if i want that service to be very durable however i don't want my clients to come to the salon once every six months therefore i don't usually use the lock the only time i use lock is when i'm doing gray coverage so obviously we have the new shades for gray coverage which are amazing they can be used on their own or intermixed with each other. We have a level six and a level eight. And you can add your fashion shades or whatever color direction you want to those gray coverage. And now with the thickener, actually, it is amazing because it really stays put, especially on that coarse hair that repels color and you have to kind of rub it in with a brush. I think the thickener just makes it so much easier because it makes it the consistency of top shape. So it's so easy to apply with the brush and it stays put, does not travel on the skin, does not stain so much. So I love that. So that's the only time that I would lock is when I'm doing great coverage, especially for people who are highly allergic to any hair color and I have to use a lumen for great coverage. Lock application. You can apply it with the applicator. You can just put the applicator uh, on the bottle directly and squeeze it and just apply it on towel dry hair. You process for about five to seven minutes and you count, you set the timer. Right when you start applying, that timer should go on just to make sure that you don't pass those seven minutes because I know what a seven minute in hairdressing world means. And so for those of you that don't really have respect for that timing, please keep in mind seven minutes. Nothing damaging is gonna happen, but if you have a bright color or whatever color that you, you love and you want to maintain, if you're gonna process that lock for more than seven minutes, it's going to reverse the action. It's going to start pulling the lumen out of the hair slowly, slowly. Of course, you need to leave it on for a long time for that to happen in a major way. However, it's it's good to know, so be careful not to overprocess the lock in the hair. Lock is an instant lumen with no pigment. So it will instantly shrink that hair, push that fiber together. Through that action, the lumen that's already in the hair will be trapped inside the cortex. The one that's on the outside of the hair is gonna be squeezed out and the surface of the hair is gonna be cleansed properly. So lock is really important when you don't want to have that bleeding, especially if the color is really bright and very visible when they shave with their own hair, you don't want to see that color going down the drain. And so lock cleanses the surface of the hair, squeezing out all that excess that's stuck in the cuticle. Therefore, you're not gonna see any color coming out when you shave with the hair. That's going to finalize your lumen process. Now, when you apply the lock on the hair, towel dried hair, that is, you will see a lot of times an abundance of water coming out and you're wondering where that water comes from because you towel dry the hair. Well, my friends, the water comes from the hair. 
Remember when I said a lumen is, has that instant shrinking effect on the hair, pushes the fiber together. So therefore, when it traps the lumen colors inside the cortex, also pushes out the extra color there is and also the water because the hair is like a sponge especially if it's porous it's like a sponge and absorbs and retains the water so now when you apply lock and that water comes out that means that there was a lot of water in the hair so what you need to do and keep that in mind please squeeze it out and reapply because that water is going to take some of the lock with it so you're not going to have uh, the amount that you need so make sure that you resaturate the hair with lock work it in so the water is not dripping when the hair is not dripping water is not dripping out of the hair that means you're in the right place and so process that for five to seven minutes from the minute or from the second that you start applying until the timing is out rinse light shampoo if you like conditioner or leave-in care or whatever your choice is or the treatment the mask a lumen mask your finishing touches whichever ones you choose that's all there is a lumen palette preparation application block the hair is gonna feel amazing the hair is gonna feel extraordinary. You're gonna give life to hair. What can I say? I mean, I'm wowed by it. It's been like 20 years and, and I, I still love it. It's my number one love in hair color. And I use it every single time I can. I'm also not a user of a lot of pure shades. I concentrate my usage of the lumen into my bread and butter, which are like browns and light browns and blondes and dark browns and gray coverage. And that's what a lumen is for me. Because a lot of times when I talk to people about a lumen, all they say is PK at all or R at all or VV. That's just the pure shades. I mean, hair color doesn't mean glow in the dark color all the time. It doesn't mean just bright colors just because it's permanent and we found this amazing product that's just gonna make these bright colors so permanent for such a long time in the hair it doesn't mean that a lumen stands for that alone so for me a lumen means the beige the browns the blondes and clear and that's what i'm utilizing either if it's for color balance or for a low light or for blonde toning at the sink so i don't have to do all this process when i am working with the lumen i can easily incorporate it in my color services as a finisher or as a low light as an accent or just as purely just to make the hair feel great again so that's what a lumen is for me i hope you enjoyed this lumen talk next time we'll probably talk about creative ways of using a lumen kind of bending the rules in the creative ways of using a lumen so i hope you enjoyed See you guys soon uh, next time for Coffee Talk. Ciao.